In this video, we are going to add materials to the walls that we created. To do this, we will be using the Paint tool to apply materials located in the Material Library and Asset Browser. First thing we want to do is go to our Manage tab, open up Materials, and then we can identify the material that we want to use. In this case, we don't have one, so we need to create it. I'm going to go to the bottom, click on the sphere to create a new material. And then I'm going to open up the asset browser to assign a material type to it. For this exercise, I'm going to go to the Autodesk physical assets and expand it. This is going to be a metal material, so I'll look for metal. I can expand that to filter it even further. And I'd like to use aluminum. And you can see here there's a bunch of options that we can use for different types of aluminum. In this case, I'm going to use the aluminum flat. And to add this asset to the material I created, I'll just select this icon to replace the current asset with this material. Now that I'm done with the asset browser, I'll go ahead and close it. And I can change the color to suit the needs of my project. Once I'm done editing the material, I'll go ahead and rename it and give it a name that matches how it's going to be used in the project. In this case, I'll call it Metal Panel. The other material that I'd like to load in is a glass material, and that already exists. So I can use the filter bar at the top, and I can search glass. And I have two options. I have glass and glass clear glazing. I'm going to go with the glass material. I can open up the asset browser again. And instead of metal this time, what I can do is I can go and I can find glass. And you can see we have a bunch of different glass types we can use. I'm going to select the dark bronze reflective. And when I replace the asset, you can see it turns it into a dark bronze. I can do the same thing with the clear glazing. If I wanted to make that a clear reflective, I can change the asset to make it a more reflective material. I'm going to go ahead and close the asset browser and hit OK and the material browser. And now what I can do is I can use the paint tool from the modify tab to apply the materials to my project. So I'm going to start with the metal panel. And I'll just search at the top to find metal panel, which would be this material here. And then I can paint it to all the different surfaces where I want to apply the metal panel. Now that I have the metal panel applied, what I can do is I can modify the panel type for my curtain wall by using the tab key to select the actual panel, going to edit type, and I can change the material to be the material that I want it to be for this case. It's a little deceiving because we picked a bronze glass color but our glass is showing up as blue. So what I could do is I could change this to say, use render appearance. And when I hit OK, now my glass is turned into a more bronze color. If I wanted to differentiate the two, say this area from this one, then I would need a different panel type for each one of my different glass panels.